Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So I want to cover a feature of WhatsApp that you probably don't know about. You can actually save the text messages into a text file that you can print out and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Okay, so this process is fairly simple. The first thing you want to do is find that person who you're texting with. You're going to select them, then you're going to export the data along with the media. Then it's going to pop up and ask you, where do you want to send it? You want to send it through an email to yourself. And after you receive the email, which is going to be a text message, then you can download that to your computer and print it out. So now that I've explained the process, let's go through this on screen. So the first thing you want to do is go to the WhatsApp app. And then you want to find that person who you're texting with. And then once you select them, you want to click the three dots in the top right corner. And then you want to go down to more. And then where you see export chat, that's the one you want to click on. So you want to click export. It's going to ask you without media or with media. I usually choose include media because when I choose without media, for some reason, I'm getting an error message. So with media is the best way to go. So I'm going to say include media. This is when it's going to pop up and ask me, where do I want to send it? I want to send it as an email. So I'm going to say Gmail Then I'm going to log into my email and it's, then it's going to pop up with my email address already in there. So I'm going to send it to myself by retyping my email or you can send it to another email if you want to. So I'm going to drop down the keyboard. Now at the bottom, you're going to see the media that's included and then you're going to see the text messages in a text file. I don't want the media so I can go in and delete that one. All I want is the text file. Once I do that, I'm going to send it. And now it's emailed to myself. So I can go ahead and check my email now. So now it's been sent off to my email. So I can actually go over to my email. And now that I check my email, I can see that I received that actual text. So now that I received the email, I can go ahead and hit the download button and download it to my phone. That right there is telling me that I received the download. So I can go over and find the download, click on it. And now I want to open it in Word, for instance, because I need to open it in a text editor. So I can click Word just once, wait for it to load up, and then it should pop up with all the details of the message in that text file. So there it is right there. It's kind of small, but you can always zoom in and look at it. And as you can see, it breaks it down by the date and the time and the message on each line and who I was communicating with in details of all the messages in that text. Now this is a small one, but if you have a text message that has a long history, then you're going to have pages and pages of that stuff. But you can actually print out a particular page or pages, especially if you don't need the whole log history. So that's how you actually get your messages in a text form from your WhatsApp app. And if you include the media, then the media is going to be attached to the email. You can eliminate the media if you don't need it and just print out the text. All right, well, I hope that was helpful to you. Anybody who's looking for a way to download their text messages from a WhatsApp app, this is the easiest way to get it done. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching it. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.